Hey there, BookTube. Noah. Everyone who reads and must converse is the channel. Thanks for coming back by again. Today I'm going to do something a little different than I normally do. Usually hauls and my weekly reads and these kind of chatty videos, something that might not, you know, be, be pointedly on a specific work or analyzing or something like that. I save that content for my Friday Night Lives. And I do Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Do an hour is what it, what it usually turns out to be. Of just hanging out with the community, sharing that kind of stuff, and getting into conversation about whatever, right? But today is a special day. Today I came across something amazing while I was out. Zelda and I went out Saturday. Um, Mama's working. Other daughters are working with Mama. So, Zelda and I had a daddy-daughter day, and we go by this charity shop that we've gone by before. They have a good book selection. I don't know how often they move through books, so I don't go by there often. But after today, I'm going to be checking them out on the regular. Because today, um, I went in there and I found a, a, a haul of epic proportion. So, the... Fantasy and Science Fiction Magazine, these slim volumes, they come out once a month, or did come out once a month, and Fantasy and Science Fiction was founded in 1949, I'm reading off their website right here, founded in 1949, the award-winning sci-fi magazine, which is the original publisher of sci-fi classics like Stephen King's Dark Tower, Daniel Key's Flowers for Algernon, Mm, what a heartbreaker. And Dan and uh, Walter M. Miller's A Canticle for Leibowitz. What an amazing work. There is uh, science, science fiction author interviews and, and uh, opinion pieces in, in this uh, collection as well. Cartoonists and other things like that. But the bulk of this science fiction and fantasy magazine is short stories. Uh, short works by science fiction and fantasy authors, right? So, there's novels, novelettes, and then there's short stories, and then there's uh, features. And then there is uh, a few kind of departments of books to look out for, where they'll push, you know, uh, dif different things in the science fiction fantasy genre, musings on books, and other uh, asides like a little I mean they'll do little plays this is a play by uh, Anne McCaffrey is in here it's ridiculous so um, <laughs> I'll go ahead and show what I've picked up and if anybody wants to see any of these in more detail then leave me a comment or go find me on Instagram it'll be in the description box and let me know which one you want to see more of and I'll just put together an Instagram post with pictures of the different uh, table of contents, things like that, whatever you want to see and put that up on Instagram. So I got July 1998 Science Fiction and Fantasy, right? This has Ursula K. Le Guin, James Morrow, uh, Terry Bisson, and Richard Feynman starring in an incident at Oak Ridge. So, let's see what all we got. Science fiction and fantasy, June 1997. I'm going to show all the, all the covers. And it is going to get pretty ridiculous. This is January 1996. And you see we're going backwards now. Harlan Ellison, Isaac Asimov. We're going backwards. We're in 1996 right now. August 95. I'm going to just show. I'm just going to pretty much show the covers and keep it pumping. March 1995. They got always have these like book ads on the back. This is great. These are great publications. And you'll see why I kind of, December 1995, where I kind of got to where I think that I was doing something, that I was <laughs> doing something wrong here, okay? 
because this is a charity shop that doesn't care what they have. June 19, 1995. Kind of like a uh, picture, like reminds me of Heinlein, you know, Friday or something. They don't care what they have. April 95. And I just told them, I said, you know, I, I would love to get that set, that science fiction and fantasy set that you have over there. But I don't know about uh, paying. You know, uh, they, they would want a dollar a piece for them. And I said, you know, I want to get them, but I don't know about if I get all of them, you know, paying that today. I wasn't prepared for that. So I was wondering if you'd cut a deal for the set. And when she said, yes, she would, that's September 90, 1994. Here's August 1994. When she said that she would cut a deal for it, I just let it happen, you know? And then I kind of felt like, like I was uh, doing something wrong over here because this one is July 1994. Because it's epic. June 1994. April 1994. This one, this cover is great, huh? Zelda was looking at this one. The angel flying. March 1994. There's one for you, Mark Richardson. January 1994. Beautiful, huh? Some of these are just epic looking uh, covers. And I'll share the table of contents or anything but with anybody who wants. December 1993. July 1993. So you see, I don't have like complete runs. It's not that it's going to, um, I don't, I don't have just back to back to back, but, um, we'll see how far back we go, right? June, 1993, little dragon action. Some of them are more, you know, with the science fiction, a science fictiony kind of cover. And some of them are more of a fantasy kind of cover, right? Some of them are completely unread, like this here. And some of them looked like, looked like they had might have been read a couple of times. So, I, uh, I was indiscriminate with it and just going to go ahead and get them all that I could. So, that one's February 1993. And then we're at September 1991 here. With a more sci-fi look, right? August 1991. A little voodoo action. I love this next cover. This one is September of 1990. I love this. Thought it very cool. A little uh, Isaac Asimov action in that one. Dean Whit Dean Whitlock, the fax man. I love that. August nineteen ninety. April nineteen ninety. A little horror fantasy there. June nineteen ninety. December of 1989. I love that. Love that. November of 1989. Ben Bova. More as Asimov. 
September of 89. Getting a little dark, it seems, at the end of 1989. <laughs> June of 89. Little space base with a little space creature here on the front. Where I got this, um, obviously the person that dropped this off, April of 1989, the person that dropped this off had, or knew the person, or, or you know, had had this run, they had had, uh, had a subscription and had them mailed to them. So it has the postage sticker on most of these, but Mark Richardson told me that that that's no problem that that base that that actually adds authenticity to the set that I have and I said well I'll just keep it on keep it right like that and keep it authentic right December 1988 September of 1988 I'm sure if y'all want to take a look, you can pause it. November of 1988. You can pause it, take a look at the cover. But like I said, if you want a deeper dive into it, hit me, even in the comments here. But where I'll post it is on Instagram. August of 1988. <coughs> and see, in 88, I have almost all of them. July of 18, 1988. So in right in the 88, 89 and 90 in those years I have almost all of the fantasy and science fiction volumes of those years. This one is June of 88. This one is May of 1988. This one is March of 1988. April of 1988. Just, just uh, awesome, awesome stuff, right? October of 1987. That's where we're at here. Harlan Ellison, Kate Wellam, Isaac Asimov. 38th anniversary issue of and it's October of 1987 is their 38th anniversary issue very cool huh September of 1987 seems to be a kind of a special one as well Isaac Asimov a sacred poet Harlan Ellison as well And we are in the most epic, August of 1987. That's right. July of 1987. Very cool, huh? <laughs> June of 1987. That's right. <laughs> so yeah, I, I go up and I'm like, May of 1984. And I tell her, I tell her, I'm like, okay, well, if you, if you cut me any kind of deal on this, you know, just give me a box and I'll box them up and then I'll bring them up to the front. And she hooked me up. And I walked out with the set. February of 1984. This is great. This this band down here is the Beatles. It says the Beatles on the bass drum there. So, February of 1984. And so, I will, I will be dipping into this one pretty soon. Just to see what that is. <laughs> And then the final one, the, the earliest edition that I have in this set, in this haul, is not January of 1984. And this is the issue right here. This is um, 
the oldest one in the in the set. And then there's yours free with a subscription. You get a free Dragon Riders of Pern if you <laughs> if you uh, join, right? But not just that. You take any four for a dollar of these books here, and it's Heinlein's Friday, Paul Paul Anderson, um. Stephen King, Christine is on there. Frank Herbert, The White Plague. Asimov has a couple of titles. A couple of the Foundation Trilogy is there. It's just it's just awesome to see these old ads. And, and these actually have, maybe not this old, but I've seen in some of the other ones, there's, there's ads. Yeah, in, 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 in the book, like just in between, like old comic books or something would have... Like a page that's an ad page, in between you reading, and and they're what are they what are they uh, advertising? Well, they're advertising books, you know. They're advertising sci-fi books and fantasy books. It's great. So um, this is just a wonderful, a wonderful find, is it not? So there we go. There's my there's my epic sci-fi. Uh, or fantasy and science fiction haul. 50 volumes I picked up today, and um, I'm set for our November event, New World November. It's going to be great, and um, thank you very much, BookTube. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.